let's look at what's called the maxi max. That's what's also called the best of the best case scenarios. Um, to get that, you take the maximum down each column, um, each column representing a decision, if you will. So in this example here, um, the best of the best case scenario is where we would stand to make the most money. Uh, is it to build the new plant or not? Where do we stand the chance of making the most money? Um, so we take the maximum down each of these columns. Okay, so here we are. Uh, and then the largest of these is our max value. So it's the 88 uh, million right here. So that's our maxi max value. We say it's the 88.8 million. Um, and then the decision, the maxi max decision, is that decision associated with it, which is this, yes, build the plant. Maxi max value, 88 million decision, yes. So we stand to make the most money by building the plant. That's our best of our best case scenario. Now, um, maxi min, kind of the opposite of that, is the best of the worst case scenarios. Take the minimum down each column. So again, you look at each column, you get the minimum for each, and then you take the largest of these minimum values. So it's the 16 million. And again, this is the best of the worst case scenarios. So where does that 16 million come from? That's actually this value right here, which is your worst case scenario. What if your demand was only a million metric tons of pellets over the 10 years? Um, so if it were, if it were the very lowest demand, uh, way lower than you thought or might hope for, um, then the best you can do is the 16 million and you can do that by not building a new plant. Okay, so maxi min value again is that 16 million right here and the decision associated with it is that no. So maxi min decision, no, don't build the new plant, value 16 million. Okay, keeping going, the EMV. Okay, so what is that? That's like a weighted average. Um, and you look at probabilities associated um, <clears throat> with each of your payoffs. We're going to look at that in a minute here. Um, use the sum product call in Excel. So let's say we had this table and we had these probabilities. We'll talk about them more in a minute. Um, what we do is we take a sum product between the um, all of the payoffs down each decision or down each column with those probabilities lock those probabilities and you can just copy this across so here we go next one some product for those two uh, that gives us the following emvs and then take the largest of these so it's the 79 million is the largest um, and that is our emv value that one and the decision related to that is the decision related to that value which is the no so emv value the 79 million emv decision no okay um, now let's look at our example again which we actually just kind of looked at here in those side pictures. Um, let's calculate those EMVs and the maxi max and maxi min with this pellet plant example. Um, so let's um, look at those 10 year payoffs um, and let's get the maxi max, the maxi min, and the EMV related to those 10 year payoffs. Okay, and let's let the following be true. Um, let's let the following probabilities be true. So, um, a million metric tons, the demand for that, um, or forgive me, so the, the odds of having a million metric tons demanded over the 10 years is 5%, um, 2 million, 10%, 3 million, 25%, 4 million, 50%, and 5 million, 10%. I get these numbers from taking my original demands and timesing them by 10. These probabilities, we actually saw them previously. Um, so these are the odds of each of these demands, okay? Uh, they're kind of a guess, but maybe they're an educated guess as to how they got these probabilities. Um, and now let's see how we do this in Excel. So here we are in Excel. Here are our payoffs. Uh, again, this payoff table for this 10 year um, pellet plant example. Here are our probabilities again. Uh, maxi max, just take the max down each of the decisions or down each of the columns. So equals max. And then control C, control V it over here. Uh, and the best uh, for maxi max is the 88 million and the decision associated with that is build the plant yes. Um, so maxi max value is the 88 million and the decision is yes build that plant. Perfect. Oh sorry. Is the yes. Perfect. Okay, now next one, the maxi min. So same thing, just do a min down the columns here, or down the 
each of the decisions. Take the best of those, which is the 16 million. Um, so the maxi max, the value is the 16 million, and the decision is no, do not build the plant. Okay, if we're gonna have low demand, absolutely don't buy that plant. Stay in, on this side here. Otherwise, we stand to lose $59 million. Okay, finally, the EMV. So this is the one where we take that sum product between our payoffs and our probabilities. Lock the reference to those probabilities. And then Control-C, Control-V. <clears throat> and if you'd like, you can make those dollars. Okay. Good. There we go. Good. And take the largest of those two values. So it is the 79 million. Okay, so for the EMV, the actual value we would say is that 79 million and the decision is the no do not build the plant okay um, that concludes how to calculate the emv the max max and the maximum